When Apple released the new iPhone 12 lineup, that was the first year that they released MagSafe for iPhones. And ever since then, I've been absolutely obsessed with the MagSafe accessory game. There are so many accessories from wallets, battery packs, chargers, you know, holsters, mounts, whatever you can think of with MagSafe, it can pretty much be done. And every year, Apple has made those magnets even stronger. So in this video, what I wanna do is talk about my top three favorite MagSafe wallets, and they each have a little bit of their own selling point, so I did wanna walk through each one of them. I don't like one more than the other. They're just MagSafe wallets that I've used over the years, and I wanted to recommend them because each one has something going for it. So without further ado, let's talk about my top three MagSafe wallets for the iPhones, and these will work with iPhone 12 through iPhone 14. Let's get into it. So the way I wanted to show off these MagSafe wallets is I wanted to kind of test them out in different scenarios. So first off, we're gonna look at the wallet itself. We're gonna see how many cards it fits in there. Secondly, we're gonna attach it to the iPhone itself, but without a MagSafe case. And then third, we will attach it again, but with a actual MagSafe case that adds some more magnets in there for extra security. And then we're gonna see which one you guys enjoy the most. And I'm gonna link all these down in the description below. This isn't sponsored. These are just my recommendations that I've used over the last two years. So the first one has to be what I think is a competitor to what Apple provides from their MagSafe wallet lineup. So this is by a company called Andar. I've had this for over 18 months now at this point, and it is my favorite aesthetically pleasing wallet. It's made out of premium leather. It comes in different colors. I went with the black colorway. It's very sturdy. They're all handmade, stitched perfectly. And just like any other leather product, it patinas super nicely. And you can see that it has some nice kind of grooves, some scratches, but in a good way. And that's what you want to see out of a leather product. So this one holds anywhere from two to four cards. It kind of depends nowadays, because now a lot of these cards are made out of metal or aluminum or whatever the case may be. So some of these cards are getting thicker and thicker. But if you have just four normal plastic cards, they'll fit in there nicely. I managed to fit in up to three, four snugly when it comes to metal cards, but then you're gonna have some trouble getting that fourth metal card out of there. And again, this one is just an aesthetically pleasing wallet. It fits perfectly on the MagSafe magnets on the iPhone. From a strength standpoint, it's good enough. It doesn't slip out of your pocket if you're putting them into tight jeans, but just always double check that it doesn't fall out of your pocket and make sure you always have your phone and your wallet on you. So this one again is by Andar. And the one thing that I do like about this when it comes to getting the cards out of the wallet itself is that on the bottom, which, which is something that the actual Apple version does not have, they have it on the rear of the actual MagSafe wallet, not, not placed at the bottom, which makes this a lot easier. So if you're trying to reach your cards and you have your main card that's always on top, you just slide it up with your thumb and then your card is visible and easily accessible. So they did think of everything with this MagSafe wallet. It's very well done, very well made, high quality. This is by Andar. As you can see, if you do add more magnets, obviously it's gonna stay on there even stronger. And, and just so you guys know, this MagSafe case is by ESR, but it's you know very simple, very clean, very cheap case, honestly. From a quality standpoint, it's good from a price to performance ratio. Any of these MagSafe cases from Amazon.com should do in adding to that extra security when it comes to magnet strength. Because I know especially if you have an iPhone 12, those magnets weren't super strong compared to especially the iPhone 14s, which they really upped the magnet strength internally on the actual iPhones. But that was the first wallet I wanted to talk about by Andar. This one's more of the aesthetically pleasing kind to kind of match your outfit, match your phone aesthetic, not too much actual function in there, which we're gonna to touch on in a couple other ones. So this one I like to keep on me whenever I'm going to a nice dinner and I'm not gonna be kind of fiddling with my phone too much. So this next one is actually by a company called Magbok. I think that's how you actually pronounce it. I've used this one for a little over a year now, and they actually were making magnetic cases prior to MagSafe, very similar to Pitaka, where they had their own version of MagSafe, so to magnetically attach different products. And what I like about this one is that, yes, it still is made out of premium leather. It still has nice stitching. It's handmade. It also patinas nicely, but you actually get a little bit extra functionality out of this, right? So firstly, the magnets on this are extremely strong, especially if you use Magbox first party case. But if you don't want to do the case, then these magnets are still extremely strong, whether you have it on the iPhone plain and bare, or you have it with an additional case, maybe about a $10 clear case from Amazon that has some extra magnetic rings. It's still going to attach extremely well. And then from a function standpoint, what I like about this one is it has three little tricks up its sleeve. The first one is that it does the same thing of what the Apple MagSafe wallet does, which is that on the actual rear side, so the side that's actually facing the iPhone and attached to the iPhone, you pull off the actual wallet itself, and then you can use your thumb to slide in through that little hole to pull out your actual credit card. The second thing that this wallet does provide is an actual second sliver. So if you really look closely, there is a divider in there. So now that divider can be used for multiple reasons. I use it for whenever I have cash, which is not very often. So whenever I don't have cash, I just throw more cards in there if I can. So, but that is a little extra divider. So you can divide not only your cards, but also divide the cash that you bring with you. So that's a nice little touch. But again, you might be asking me, Fernando, 
how much can you actually fit in here, especially if you have something like cash. So I've been able to fit like three cards, three regular cards, or one or two bills that are all folded up, tri-folded up, so it does take up a little bit more space, and it does get a little bit bulky at that, and this is a very rigid case. For instance, if this didn't have that little thumb hole to be able to pull your cards out, it would be extremely difficult to get your actual credit cards out of here. So it is a little bit difficult to get your cash out when it is in there, but again, I don't use cash too often, and when I do, it's more of an emergency 20, so keeping that in there is always a great little addition. But this one might be winner in terms of magnet strength overall, and it does have some extra form. And then the last thing they do add, which is that third little trick, is that they add a little ring for your middle finger or thumb finger, or whatever finger you have, so you can actually hold the phone even more securely. So that's also a nice little touch that was added with this little ring holder for your finger right there. And now let's talk about the last MagSafe wallet. So this one's probably my most used, my default go-to because it does give you a little bit more function over form. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, and some people do really like it, like I do enjoy the black one. This is the blue pastel colorway right here, which is also very nice. But what I really like about this, and this is by a company called Moth. I've used their products for years now. As you guys might have seen in some of my recent videos, I have a Moth product on my laptop, I have Moth products on my iPad, so Moth products on the iPhone just make complete sense. And Moth makes a lot of these or origami style function over form products, which allows you to get a little bit more functionality out of the products that they have. So this one is no different. So obviously, firstly, it is a wallet. It does fit up to four cards semi-comfortably, which is nice to have. It does stretch out nicely, so if you want to fit a fifth card in there, you could. It'll just be a little bit hard to get out. And the magnets are plenty strong, right? They're strong enough. They're probably not as strong as Magbox magnets. They're probably not as strong as Magbox magnets, but they still get the job done. And then obviously, if you attach it to a case, it's going to be even stronger. But what I like about this actual MagSafe wallet the most is that it does act like a stand for your iPhone. So as you can see, it does have the regular standing mode and portrait mode, and then you can just move your phone over to landscape mode when this does kick out, which is nice to see, and it has a nice little snap to it because it has extra magnets in there to make sure it stays secured. But then the third stand mode that I actually use the most is the TV stand mode. Now, I don't know if it's officially called that, but that's what I use it as. You can actually twist your iPhone into landscape mode and then have the wallet still be in portrait mode so you can see that it elevates the phone a little bit off of whatever surface you're using and it's in landscape mode. And I use this a lot whenever, let's say, I'm out about on a weekend, maybe I'm getting lunch with my family, but there's a lot of sports on, like my football, and I like to kind of put this off to the side so I can always have like one of my eyes in my peripherals looking at what's going on on the screen while watching YouTube TV. And then also, I don't think it was designed purposely this way, but as a byproduct of how this is done by origami design and folding with little flaps and things like that, the back of it actually turns into a holster similar to what Magbox provides as that little ring holder that you can put your middle finger through to actually hold your phone more securely. Now this one does the same thing. You can put two, three, four fingers, depending on the size of your hand, all the way through the actual back of the Moth product itself, which is also great for making sure that you're holding the product in hand correctly. But those are my three favorite MagSafe wallets. I use these pretty much on a daily basis. Like I mentioned, the Moth one is the one that I use kind of as my default. The Andar one more for nicer dinners. And then the Magbox one, especially if I want some strong magnets and I want to use it with the Magbox case, then I pull that one out. But they all kind of do the same thing, but they do it a little bit differently with their own little perks. So I'm going to list all these down in the description below for you guys to check out. Maybe the great stocking stuffer is a Christmas gift. Because by all means, you can't go wrong with any of them. It's just a matter of, hey, do you prefer more of the form aesthetic or do you prefer more of the, the function side of it, like the Moth one? But that's going to do it, everybody. Leave some comments down below, maybe some other MagSafe wallets that I should check out because I have checked out a few, but these are my top three. Maybe there's one that I should definitely check out that I haven't seen yet. Definitely link it below and I'll give it a try. But if you guys didn't make it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below. And like I said, these wallets will be down in the description below. Definitely check them out. But until next time, I'm Fernando. If you guys want to watch some more iPadOS, iOS, or MacOS videos, click on one of these right here. Until next time. Peace.